coming in, you guys. It's day number 128 of my 365-day Jimmy Ice Bat Challenge. In the year 2022, I have been purposely, yes, on purpose, getting into a very, very, very cold ice bath every day. That's the Morozco Forge, by the way, company that makes an ice bath machine. And they let you set it on a particular temperature and you go from there. So I have been all year long in the year 2022 getting into 32 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes a day. Some days it's a little warmer than that. Some days I have traveled and needed to go into a cold shower. You do what you can, but I have been consistent on the cold therapy pretty much the entire year, except for a couple days, uh, which I've talked about previously. But that is my destination. Right around 5 p.m. Eastern, every single day, I get into the cold. Now, if you watched yesterday's video, I ran into some trouble with the Morosco Forge. A couple things. The filtration system button decided to go kaput on me a couple days ago. So it has not filtered the water in a couple of days. No big deal. If it went more than a week, I'd be a little concerned, but a couple days and they're gonna send somebody out to help fix that soon. But also it was draining water out. And so this morning, when I looked in there, it looks like the water had dropped again. So I needed to refill the water. So as you can see, there is water in there. You can probably also see that there is ice developed at the bottom. And, and it doesn't look like there's any ice in there because there's not at the top, but it's extremely cold water. Let me look at what the temperature is. When I filled it up with the water hose, I left the water hose in there and forgot about it to the point that it overflowed. I am man, Get, forgive me a little bit, I am man. Uh, and it got to like 47 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm like, no, I need it to be close to 32. So now here we are five hours later, it's finally back down to 35.3 degrees Fahrenheit. So still very, very cold. Not quite the 32 degrees that I typically get to, but trust me, 35 is still pretty darn cold. And so I'm excited to get in there as I always do for five minutes. Today, you guys, I wanna tell you about this conversation I had with this young friend of mine. Uh, I go to a car wash locally and I had befriended this guy and his girlfriend who work there and he inquired with me today about cold therapy. I want to tell you how, how it went. 22 year old man and uh, you'll see what happened. All right, let me set this down. Let you guys watch all the action here. Five minutes are on the clock and let's get this show on the road. Let's get down, let's get down to business. All right. It's still very intensely cold. So when I overfilled the tank earlier, I had to pop in here 
to get the water to spill over um, so that when I got in for you guys here on camera, it wouldn't spill over so crazily. So, so I was in for two minutes earlier today. I've already done a two minute session. I sometimes will do other sessions at other times other than 5 p.m. Eastern, but this is my main time, so I always try to dedicate to this, but I do other ice bath therapy at other times. All right, guys, let me tell you about my friend Alex. So Alex is a 22-year-old kid, super nice guy. Him and his girlfriend, I just love them to death. And I remember Alex got to be a fan of my old Jimmy Rants show uh, that I used to do. And he would watch my videos. He's like, I like I like what you do, man. This is good. And so he's been following me, and we've been friends. And today he said, all right, Jimmy. I see you doing all these ice baths. What is that about? Tell me tell me why I need to do that. I'm like, wow, 22 year old kid interested in an ice bath, all right. So I start talking about some of the physical health benefits, but I figured his age, he probably will be more swayed by the mental health benefits. I'm like, do you ever have like anxiety, depression, kind of like your head isn't right? He's like, yeah, I said, that's what this does. It helps to improve all those things. And so you can see his eyes kind of lighting up a little bit of, okay, that sounds interesting. Then he revealed something to me. He said that his grandmother actually has an ice bath on her property. He said, my grandma, she gets in an ice bath all the time. And I always thought it was so weird because I never even heard about that. And then here you come along talking about it, Jimmy, and your work. And now he's like intrigued by it. Grandma's not as crazy as she seemed. And then I went on to explain that only in America is this considered weird because culturally around the world, cold therapy is a thing. It's normal outside of America. Only, only people in the United States thinks this is weird. And so he's gonna give it a go. He said, next time I go to my grandma's house, I'm gonna ask if I can go into her ice bath and, and he said, and I know Jimmy, breathe. I said, okay, so he's watching my videos. He knows what the message is. And I thought it was great. A 22 year old kid willing to give cold therapy a try. What's your excuse? Why are you not giving this a try too? All right, we're coming up towards the end, you guys. We're gonna get prepared here to go under the water and I'll be right back. My hair always has this funky thing coming out of the water. I look like a crazy man. I'm like a crazy ice man. <laughs> uh, if you can't have fun in life, guys, what is the point? What is the point of life? Just go through and mope. Oh, let me be boring. Jimmy, don't do boring. Nope. Jimmy does not do boring. Boring is of no interest to me. Nope, nope, nope. But how cool is that, you guys? 22-year-old kid who ostensibly feels invincible at that age. I, I know I did. Most, most kids at that age feel like they're capable of doing anything that they want. And they're just starting off their adult life pretty much at that point. So why would you think about anything regarding your health, mental, physical, or otherwise. So, good on you, Alex. Alex is definitely uh, a great kid, and I know he's gonna turn into an amazing older adult someday. If he starts doing ice baths in his 20s, and then uh, gets his girlfriend to do it, and then they uh, get married someday and start popping out babies and kind of have them understand 
like culturally speaking, think about all the habits that you now know are good that you implement in your life from nutrition all the way down. Can you imagine if you learned those as a kid and you started implementing all those things nutritionally and lifestyle that you now you use as an adult? What if you had started those when you were ki a kid? What if you learned their value in your life? How much longer would you live? How much stronger would you be? How much disease freeness would you have? It's things I think about often that the things I know now about health far exceed the things I've ever known in my life about health. And what would have happened had I had this information much, much sooner. Now I don't play the lament game. It doesn't do you any good. You can't lament what has happened. All you can do is just deal with what has happened and let the chips fall where they may. But yes, internationally, doing cold therapy, doing saunas, those things are normal. I remember three years ago, I was talking to my mom earlier today. By the way, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Talking to my mom earlier today, and she was talking about a Facebook memory came up that uh, from 10 years ago that was a picture of me and her, and, and she thought it was really nice uh, to be reminded of that. And I said, yeah, yeah, I had one recently come up from three years ago about my trip to Italy that I took three years ago. And when I was in Italy, they had a spa that literally had one section that was like a sauna, uh, steam sauna. They had also had a dry sauna. And then they had a cold shower section, meaning they saw the value of not just the heat shock proteins with the sauna therapy, but also the cold therapy for the brown fat activation and all the other things you've heard me talking about. Pretty darn neat. And I've had other people from other parts of the world talk about, oh yeah, we regularly, regularly go out for a cold dip. We regularly engage in cold therapy. It's just so much a part of their culture they don't even think about it being weird because it's so normal for them that they don't think anything about it. Whereas here in America, oh my God, that's so weird. That's so odd. Why would you do that? And we wonder why America is so unhealthy. Yes, it's bad diet. Yes, it's bad health advice in general. I think the public health officials and those in charge of trying to promote healthy living principles in America, they have greatly underserved us as people. And we deserve better. We deserve to have better information taught to us. And it seems like all the information they teach to us is tied to some kind of an agenda. Eat low fat. Who benefits from that? Eat more vegetable oils and cut your saturated fat. Who benefits from that? Eat lots of healthy whole grains. Who benefits from that? Don't eat salt. Think about that one. Who benefits from that? I'm amazed at all the ways that we've been lied to about our health. And so if something looks funky monkey strange to you, it's only because your normal is predicated around what you think is normal and that normal has not helped you in your health. Think about that. Think about anything that looks odd to you as a health modality like an ice bath. Think about why it seems odd to you. It seems odd to you because you haven't heard anything about it or you only think about it through the prism of what you've been taught. And uh, another one uh, about things they promoted, put sunscreen on because you don't want to have that dangerous sun on your skin. Well, we now know that's bullshit too because you need the sun touching the skin 
to produce vitamin D naturally. And vitamin D levels, especially in Americans, is obscenely low. So think about all the so-called health advice we've been given. That explains why you think something like an ice bath would be weird. We haven't been taught the value of cold, which is why Jimmy's writing a book about this. It's time we put cold back on the map again and let people see the value that it has to offer. You're not gonna see the value until you're convinced of the value, until you experience it for yourself. It's why I've tried to create this ramp onto cold therapy. Everybody sees me getting into the ice bath and they're like, I can't do that. No kidding, you sure can't. It'll be interesting to see how Alex does with his grandma's ice bath. Because if you're not acclimated yet, that can be quite intense. Just like that noise from the road out there, quite intense. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he does. I told him, I said, be prepared. Uh, you may not like it. Oh, he, oh, he was telling me one other thing. So he, this is just a little side job he does at this car wash. His main job, they all did a challenge. It's a bunch of young kids like him. They all did a challenge at work to see who could put their hands into a bowl full of ice water. <clears throat> Just their hands. And he said, whoever could keep it in the longest uh, will win a prize. Well, I think they get a week to do this or something. Well, right now he holds the record. He was able to keep his hands into the water for two minutes. I was like, dang, boy, that's that's intense. If you're able to get your hands into cold water, ice cold water for two minutes, I said they started feeling pretty tingly and numb. He's like, oh, they were hella numb, dude. So <laughs> I like, yeah. I was telling him that because it's the furthest from your heart, your hands and your feet, those are the two parts of your body there's, that are the furthest away from your heart that when the blood gets pumped, it's hard for it to go that far and then it has to turn around at that point in the circulation process. That's why when you get into cold, your hands get numb and your feet get numb first and the re rest of your body does pretty well. I said, yeah, I can imagine your core doesn't really, you don't really feel it at all. I said, honestly, except when I'm sitting on top of a sheet of ice, I don't feel cold or numb in any other part of my body. I said, when I have to sit on a sheet of ice, then my, then my butt gets numb, but, but the hands and the feet are the worst. I said that even I have to pull my hands out at about the three minute mark, three to three and a half minute mark, because it's so intense for me. Otherwise I could stay in there for a very long time. And so interesting, they're doing a, hands dunk challenge at his work into an ice bowl, ice bath bowl. Uh, and he's got the record right now for, for two minutes. I said, put your mind into another world. Tell yourself that your hands are fire. And it's amazing how we can convince our, our brain to believe things if we just believe them strongly our brains are a lot more powerful than we give them credit for in helping us cope with things that happen in our life. All right, guys, let me pop off of here for now. Thank you so much for watching this. As always, in the month of May, I am currently away writing on my brand new book, Cold Therapy Clarity. We're gonna talk a lot about these concepts that I talk about on these ice bath videos in the book. We're gonna talk about it and I decided not to do these live in the month of May. So I apologize for those of you who enjoy interacting live, but they will all be on the replay on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and of course on Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram at Livin Low Carb Man, L I V I N L O W C A R B M A N. Would love to have you there when I return in the month of June. We will commiserate with the 5 p.m. Eastern 
ice bath videos. And yeah, get her done as they say. But for now, let me get out of here. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye everyone.